This group of women have all been training together for over three years. Some, like Peyton Chadwick and Talia Brooks, competed at Arkansas. They know each other's goals, each other's PRs, and they can encourage each other with just a look. We are an aspiring uh, pro track group, all with one goal, to go to the Tokyo Olympics. You know, track and field is looked at as an individual sport, but with this team, it's a team effort, led by Coach Chris Johnson, who is also an assistant at Arkansas. Over the summer, they realized they wanted to give themselves a name that represented them and honored their coach. But Johnson's Instagram name <laughs> is Captain Johnson, mm -hmm. okay. and mostly around the world, track and field is considered athletics. They don't call it track, so we just kind of put those two things together mm -hmm. and made Captain Athletics. It kind of came to fruition, and we surprised him. He liked it. We haven't had any complaints. It's a brand that stands for everything they've worked to accomplish. Like, now that we have a name on it, it's like, okay, people are looking. Like, people were looking before, but it's like, okay, what are Captain, what is Captain Athletics going to do? You know, so we have to, like, live up and show out. And their dream of being an Olympic athlete. I think it'll help be able to put ourselves and Captain Athletics on the map. After the Tokyo Olympics were postponed a year, they all had to get creative with their training, working out at Lake Fayetteville and Kessler Park. This is definitely one of our, if not our, best years competing. I mean, training so far, so we're excited to see how things are going to pan out. They all want to be in Japan wearing the country's colors. And if they get there, they know they owe a lot to the guy behind Captain Athletics. Coach Johnson was there with us every step of the way, so making the team would be gratifying for us, but also for him as well because he's put in just as much work almost if not more than we have. The U.S. track and field team at trials are in Eugene, Oregon, June 18th through the 27th. Janique Brown is trying to qualify for Jamaica, Sparkle McKnight for Trinidad and Tobago. You can find this story along with my other Women Wednesday segments on our website. That's sports. Back to you.